Ladies and gentlemen, and my name is Miss Anime. I think that's the monochrome I'm using now. I'm not, haven't entirely decided yet, but I'm pretty sure that's the monochrome I'm using. And welcome to volume two of a thousand and one anime to see before you die. Uh, the last one was on Lucky Star. I wasn't really happy with that one, but I don't really want to go back and redo it. So I decided that since the last one was a lot more, uh, lot more light and fluffy on a show that was not very plot oriented the next one would be on a much more plot oriented show and a show I very much in, much enjoyed for a number of reasons so basically he one day a a hikikomori named June who who has an addiction to online shopping comes home and finds a suitcase sitting in, on his bed now, he doesn't know where the suitcase came from, or who delivered it, and he doesn't remember ordering it, but he decides, uh, I'm gonna open it, you know, just in case. Actually, I think he thinks it's a package he ordered, so I think that's it. I think he thinks, yeah, he thinks it's a package he ordered, so he opens it, and instead of finding whatever he ordered, he finds it on, on a wooden case. And in that case is a doll. Um, and... Upon waking up, the first thing that doll does is tells him to make make her tea. And this is probably one of her biggest things, is she really, really, really likes to pe make like, people to make her tea. And she is very, very, very bitchy about it. I, I honestly, it took me a long time to get used to it because I found it extremely obnoxious at first. I, I did not like the way she treated him. But, basically, that relationship between June and Shinku... Um, is one of the central focuses of this show. The The overarching plot is that there are actually seven dolls, and all of these dolls are fighting to gather... I forget the name. It's I forget the name. Basically, they're like life gems that keep the dolls alive, and once you get all seven of an... You, you become a full doll. I don't know how that works, but, you know, that's basically how it is and you become a full doll and I think you can like I, I forget you have your wish granted or something like that anyway um it sounds really stupid but honestly what makes it work is the relationship between the characters personally my favorite character is Suise Seki because she sounds she reminds me a lot of myself. She's very loud and she's very boisterous and she's very opinionated. And her relationship with her much more reserved her twin sister, Sose Seki, um, makes for a very interesting dynamic because Sose Seki wants to fight. She knows that at some point they're going to have to battle each other. And she's like, I don't, you know, and she's like, I don't want to, but we don't really have a choice. And Suise Seki does not want to fight. She's like, why can't we just get along why do we have to fight each other and honestly i found that very you know honestly unlike most shows i found that they didn't overdo it that much i really 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 liked her and i really liked i like the fact that her whole gimmick is that she's she's a guard they're, they're they're gardeners basically and her thing is a watering can that can like grow giant really neat plants um plants are a really big theme in this show which is very strange i don't know why people like plants so much in this universe but apparently they do so also among the are Hina Ichigo who's completely adorable um she's cuter in Japanese though because I like Sherry Lynn but the dub is just kind of meh. but I love the dub overall I'm not saying it's bad it's a fantastic dub but her dub voice is probably one of the weaker ones um anyway also Kanaria who I hate and who I find infuriating um, Kira Kisho, who, I believe she's the real seventh doll. I don't remember whether she's the real seventh doll or Barasui shows the real seventh doll. One of them's fake. I don't know why Laplace made a fake, but, or maybe he didn't. Somebody made a fake. But anyway, one of them's fake. And, of course... The eponymous doll, the one that everybody has to look out for, is Sui Gento, who probably inspired a whole generation of cosplay because I see so many characters who are gothic Lolita look. Um, it's a cool look. I love it. 
but I see so many characters who are modeled after her, and it's 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 really 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 interesting. Obviously, the relationships between the dolls are important, but also the relationship between the dolls and the humans are important because the humans don't exactly the humans aren't exactly you know involved in the game. They're they're the vessels which the dolls gr- draw power from, but they're not they're they're basically just there to keep the dolls alive and to keep them, you know, able to play. June is the only one who actually has an active role, I believe. Yeah, June is the only one who actually has an active role in the Alice game. So you don't really need the humans in the story except they they basically and I like that. I like the fact that instead of having a bunch of human characters having to fight each other, the humans are just basically, you know, the means to an end. And they also serve as some very good plot points because especially Sosaseki in her ca- her case, you know, the twins in their case at least, you know, they all love, sorry, they all love their humans. They all love the people they're attached to and they don't want to have to give up their humans, but I think in Megu's case, at least, she's dying. So I don't think the series ever explored what would happen if Megu died. I think with who is Sui Gento's uh, medium. But I think what would happen is she'd have to go and find a new medium. And that would be interesting. Um, that would be interesting. But basically, it, 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 as I said, it's basically a relationship drama between june and the dolls and their interpersonal connections with each other and i love the writing in the show i love how powerful this show is and i love the fact that you know interspersed with that are some really 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 cool batter scenes um but obviously that's not the only thing that's great about this show the the relationship between the dolls is great the ending scene where Sheena Ichigo shuts down is just oh my god I was bawling my eyes out when I, they're, they're not technically dead but when the dolls you know when the dolls lose they basically fall into a coma which is basically death and the scene where Ichigo shuts down is sadder than like half the scenes in anime I've seen today which is, I've seen today, it is heartbreaking. I do feel the ending of the second season is very rushed. I do feel like, you know, they weren't planning to do any more with it. So they just kind of bombed through it. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's how it ends in the manga. Zurich Sputin is terrible. I, I, I just, I want to say that right now. Zurich Sputin is fucking awful. And what I hate about this show is, hate about Zerk Sputin is the fact that they repeat the same three plot points over and over and over again. It is extremely aggravating. Especially since, in, um, the first, se- like I said, the first season is so good. The first season is a great interpersonal connected drama, but Zerk Sputin is just basically the same plot points repeated ad nauseum. And after a while, you're like, okay, we get it. You have seven days. You need to open the door. You need to figure out how to get, how to get, how to, how to get to this last doll. We understand this did not need to be a whole thing. The funny thing is my favorite arc is actually Tromond. The arc where basically they introduced how, uh, Sui Ginto and Shinku met. And... It made for a very interesting kind of dynamic. Because at first in the series, you kind of feel like she's nuts. You just feel like Sui Kento is nuts. But after watching her in the show, and after seeing how thrown away she basically was, you actually end up feeling sorry for her. You actually end up feeling really bad for her. And that's what I really like about the show. Even the even the villains in the show get, act, get real character traits and real character developments 
The only other notable thing about this show, and for those of you who know me, you will absolutely know this. This show introduced me to my absolute 100% favorite anime, favorite, not anime, favorite band, favorite J-pop band of all time. I love Ellie Project with a burning fucking passion. I have downloaded so many of their songs, and they're so cool. Because you hear this song, and it's like nothing you've ever heard before. Their music is so distinctive and so different. And you hear it, and you're like, I... It's not rock. It's like this fusion of goth and orchestra and just... They're, 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 they're amazing, but I do understand that they're not everybody's taste, and I've met people who are like, you know, oh, I don't like this, and I understand. I love them. I think they're amazing, and I now have, like, 30-ish songs by them, so that, honestly, Baragaku Ochame is my favorite. If you would ask me which song from them is my favorite it's the opening to trauma well no actually that's not my favorite song from them from rose and maiden my favorite opening is the one to trauma because it's such a distinctive give lilt from soft and orchestral to to loud and booming and that's what makes them so good is they can go from one one rhythm to another and back to the first rhythm and loud and then soft and they play with a with in, their instrumentals and they play with their lyrics and it's so they're they're just so I could spend all day gushing about them but I'm not going to do that because this video would get very very long I might make a video on my favorite songs by them at some point but that will be in the future when I figure out how to put uh, actual music into music into my videos for now, uh, love this show. Very, very good. The only thing I would want, um, if people are gonna ask is dub or sub. And personally, I really like the dub. I love, you know, it introduced me to several of my favorite dubbers. Love Melody, or Mela, I don't know if it's Mela. I've never known if it's Mela. Um, anything with Mona Marshall in it is fucking just, the woman is a legend. The woman is an absolute legend, so you know immediately if it has Mona Marshall in it, you know it's going to be good. But, um, the dub is really good. I do not like, well, I don't dislike, I'm not in love with Hina Ichigo's dub. Mostly because I don't find her as cute, cute in the dub. She's, she's kind of stereotyped, stereotypically yeah, you know, she's just, I, I don't like her as much in the dub. The rest of the cast is extremely solid. Um, a lot of people are going to be surprised by that because the, a lot of people I've heard complain about Suisei Seki's dub. I personally love Rebecca Forstadt. I think she's absolutely fantastic and I think she's very distinctive and that's what I like. I like voice actors who are distinct. I like voice actors who are not the same as everybody else. Well, that's what distinct means. I like voice actors who you can pick them out from a crowd and you can go, oh, that's so-and-so. That's why my favorite voice actors in anime are voice actors like Jun Fukuyama and Sator Miyarai and Mika Kanai and Yoshi, well, I forget his full name, but voice actors who you hear them and you immediately know who they are, whereas most voice actors, they all sound exactly alike. So, anyway, highly, highly, highly recommend this series. I think most of the shows in this are going to be recommendations, but I might do some bad ones or some ones you should watch for other reasons. But for now, you know, Rose and Maiden is a very, very, very good series. And in summary, I would watch the dub. Don't watch Zurich Spooden. It sucks. Um... A lot of people are going to be disappointed by on it by the ending to the second season, but I think it's kind of worth it. 